Recently, we witnessed the tech sector experience a substantial number of job cuts in 2023. With your tech giants like Amazon, Alphabet, Microsoft, Salesforce, so on and so forth, reducing or cutting down their workforce by almost up to 6%. Uh, in 2023 so far, we have witnessed almost 75,912 employees being laid off only in this particular sector. We have seen a lot of similar trends in other sectors too. A major reason for this is somewhere attributed to the Russia-Ukraine standoff, the recessionary trends that we have been witnessing in major economies and high inflation that has been a very generic situation in, across the globe. For those impacted by these distressing situations and by the job loss, their cash flow gets directly impacted. So while we cannot completely mitigate the impact of such a sudden situation, we can definitely plan a very prudent way in order to mitigate or reduce the impact of such a situation. The first step is to ensure that you have an emergency fund. Even before we go to the emergency fund, the zero or the base thing is to understand where your expenses lie. You need to put down your short term, medium term, long term expenses and also the manner in which these expenses are. That is, is it recurring in nature? Are there any contingencies? Are there any loans? Are there any other kind of borrowings in front of these expenses or are there? Expenses like food, clothing, rent, medical, etc. needs to be put down in the order of priority and frequency. That is zero to three months, three to nine months. Then we start building the emergency funds. The emergency funds are built in a manner that kind of can absorb the shock for at least your six months worth of expenses. That is the minimum amount or that's the minimum value that your emergency fund needs to have. You need to pick an emergency fund that isn't volatile and generates a minimum interest rate of the capital park therein. Individuals can also park emergency fund based on the tenure of the expenses in order to avail a better return. For instance, if an expense is needed post nine months or post a year, you can park it in a bit of a longer paper that is still safe, but also ensure that you get a bit of an extra alpha. Now, step number two is to ensure that you and your dependents are adequately insured. Ensure that your medical policy not only covers you, but also your family members. In case of a salaried employee, usually your employer covers your medical expenses. However, to be 100% dependent on the same isn't advisable. Ensure that you have an add-on plan, either with the existing or a separate as an add-on that covers all your expenses. So even in terms of a situation of a job loss, your medical insurance is there. The third step is to ensure that you do not use your credit cards or build up additional debt. This becomes difficult to manage at a later stage and ensure that you do not lose track of these expenses. Budget in such a way that you know where your inflows and outflows are and how these outflows can be managed in terms of a play way that will not eat up your emergency fund. What I mean by that is if your interest rate or your loan rate is higher than the rate at which your emergency fund is growing, it would end up eating up your emergency fund faster than what your actual projections would be. The fourth step would be to not liquidate your investments till absolutely necessary. Redeem only the amount that is necessary for a short or on a monthly basis from your emergency fund. Investments generate additional income for you and redeeming them before an actual need arises will put a stop to the same. Investment made in long-term assets can be moved or reassessed but should not be withdrawn. And finally, have a plan B in place. Even if everything is going smoothly and you're making adequate money, ensure that you have a good investment SIPs or a good investment plan that in that builds up this emergency fund and that builds up your long-term investments. This is your risk-taking capabilities. Keep your emergency fund with a minimum of six months budgeted expenses and keep a track of your loan. 
these crucial steps are something that will help you to mitigate your short term eventualities and ensure that you continue leading your life as stress free as possible creating a solid financial base for yourself during such uncertain times is essential you can go check out our different portfolios that we have and assess your risk basis your investment objective and your tenure and look at starting your investment journey as soon as possible mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully before investing